So, hey guys, it's KJ here. Um, it's midnight. Um, practically is the morning. Uh, it should be Monday. Um, I'm with Kelly on the left and Aaron on the right. Hello. 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 And um, it's just our little midnight Skype chat with me, Aaron, and Kelly, just talking about AX because those two lucky. Um, just got back from AX. Um, how many days did you go, Kelly? All four days. All four days. Including Same as you, Aaron. <laughs> oh, you guys are so lucky. Um, I was planning to go, but this channel had to go first on my priority, so I have said this a lot. Let's cut to the chase. So, um, you guys wanted to share something? Oh, yeah. So, right now I'm going to be opening two whole boxes of the Love Live Love Live uh, Mr. Booster Box <laughs> Voice Forts. Now, That's... technically, don't um, Booster Box cost a lot? Yeah, they kind of do. For Booster Road, you could buy them right now for about 100 and plus tax, it'll be like $110 each. Yeah. So oh I got two God. of them, so it's about you, like 220 You spent a lot on that. Actually, One of them is actually a gift. Huh? One of them is actually a gift. PS3 games I own now. Like PS3 a, games, huh? What did you get, Aaron? Oh, Let's Chrono see. Phantasm. Okay, I see that Chrono oh, Phantasm there. Dragon's Crown. Oh, nice. Now we can actually play together. Temple <laughs> Symphonia Chronicles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The and Dark it. Souls 2. I never finished the first game, and I think I, I think I should play through the first game. Then, then beat the second, because, well, that's how things should be. <laughs> Wow, you guys. So basically, Aaron bought a whole sh whole bag full of games. Um, Kelly, what do you, what else did you get, Kelly? Besides the cards. Uh, besides the cards, I got some uh, card sleeves for them. Oh. I got yeah. some over sleeves too, because I got some really really nice card sleeves. They're the character ones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got the Umi one from the Love Live series, and yeah. I got the over sleeves that protects the card sleeves. Got that. I got oh, a thick box. Oh, the the double layer sleeves. Yeah, double S least. Oh my god. Got you that. bought a lot of wish words then. Yeah, anything I else besides pretty much. Anything mm. anything you want to like mention, I suppose, that's good. Oh <laughs> I got this. Oh it's a sort yeah, of online, online autographed uh oh, right. limited it is limited edition you only get from it from Animex two thousand fourteen. I got my brother actually so, picked this up. Basically he got a sort of online um signature, you know. From the creators of Sora Online poster mm -hmm. with that's basically a promotion for Sora Online too. Um, you, if you guys are a big fan of Sora Online, like I, um, we are, um, the first episode is already online on the web. I already watched it this evening before I got onto um, creating my channel. So hey, goodanime.net, good place to go. <laughs> just a just a shout out to that website because. That place is an archive. It goes from the oldest series alphabetically to the newest ones. So it always updates. And recently I've watched like an anime and I checked the website. They are updated like in about two hours. So it is a good place to go if you watch each ah, can I speak? Evening. Getting a bit tired here. Good place to go to check out animes a lot. Anything else, Aaron? Um, let's see, I bought a, and I bought a, a bunch of uh, comics and t-shirts. Let's see, t -shirts. Finland Saga is getting a, uh, a, uh, re a official release into a Western um, publication. Wait, Zeno Saga? The Dots are comics. Zeno Saga, right? Finland Saga. Oh, okay. I thought you said Zeno Saga. I was like, Zeno Saga is already no, an no, anime, no, no. though. Different, different Saga, JJ. This one's about Viking. <laughs> All right, Kelly. Let's see what you pulled in. All right. So, um, as you can see from here, there's still all the plastics from here. So hey, this hey, is a completely hey. new box. So I'm gonna cut this open right now. All right. Hold your horses, Aaron. Kelly's opening his um, box sure. for his cards. So how many packs are there? Like 20, right? There's 20 in a box. Yeah. 20. All right. Usually these packs usually sell from four to six dollars each. Well, yeah. Um, 
Oh, Plastic, if you guys are not um, familiar with Wish Force, is an anime um, card game, um, tabletop. Uh, the one thing I got to mention is the fact that it works with everything. Well, each card set is a set of series based on your favorite anime. Um, but the gameplay itself, basically you match two animes together, but it really works well. Um, so, the thing that I'm sure Kelly's looking for right now is the signature card. Yeah. Now, I got myself a signature card, I thought it was worth a lot, but it's actually a level 2. So, it was only like worth 30. But I still like Yui from Sword Art, so I don't really care if it's worth it or not. I just value it as much as I uh, want. Oh, that's so, pretty cool. What's up? Is there a new format? Uh, I didn't oh, know that. With each booster box, it comes with a mat, like a play mat for you. Yeah, a paper play mat. But yeah, that's paper. like for every card game, though. Ah, uh, I never opened a box before, so. Oh hell, there's a, pro there's a promo card in here. Smaller card. I got. Uh, I got Rin. Let that's me a see. Promo card. Oh, I got multiples of them. Oh, let me open that. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. So, um, booster packs. If I remember correctly, it comes with a promo card set. Each box has it. Um, when I got the Nanoa Strikers pack, I also it came also with a two premier pack for um, Nanoa uh, Battle of the Ace. No, not Battle of the Ace. My bad. You know, Maho Sojo and <laughs> Lyrical Nanoa fans are going to scream at me. No, the G.O.D. set. The Gears of Destiny cards were also implemented with the box so um i guess i got lucky i i looked online and it says something like a rare find to get one of those plugged into one of the boxes it was a misprint but yeah nice so from that i pulled uh a mini rin got mini maki and i got so it all means Kanayo. They're all chibis. Yeah, yeah all, all chibis. <laughs> they're um, all pretty weak, but they look really, really cute. Really freaking cute. I think that's the point. I have yeah, yet boy. to watch Love Live, I'll be honest. But I hear it's a good show. Um, I have not gotten into it yet. I just finished two animes. God. God these and packs. so, oh my. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my this god. Is a box. Now that's 20. If that's you open 20. both boxes, that's just a whole entire 40, like, yeah. table full. And wait, 20 packs with about 10 cards each, right? Uh, let me see. 8. 8 cards. Alright, you might be get lucky. There are some misprints that have 10 pack, um, ten cards in a pack. First pack out of the thing. Let's All right, see what let's we pull it. This is going to take a while, guys. It's gonna take but a while. bear it with us. It's just an unboxing of a card. Come on. Also, Kelly, is that a laptop or a webcam? Uh, laptop. Okay, can you tilt it down a little bit so we can see the sure, table? Man. So we can see the unboxing of the cards a bit? So I was barely with this one. And I got... Scooch it down oh, a shit. little bit more. Oh, shit. Shiny. <laughs> Scooch a little bit down a bit more because we're seeing the top of the card but not the whole card. Yeah, that's good. Wow. This is actually shiny. Is, it, uh, is, is that holographic? Old, it, yeah, it's holographic, dude. This Whoa, is nice. a new type of Japanese from uh, Love Live this series onwards. They're doing this type of Japanese where they have speckles on it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That is not bad. And wow. First pool. That's a holograph. level 1, and it has 7,000 attack. And it's a continuous. During this card's battle, all players cannot play backup. So if I attack you, you cannot play any sort of backup. So it's instantly, I'll. Pretty much beat you. <laughs> God damn it! These these new Wish Wars cards. Literally, I bought the Sword Art Online cards that's English, and it's still like one of those meh cards. So it wasn't good. I was getting wrecked by everybody who played different cards. Um, Vinny beats me a whole lot, and we all know that. Um, <laughs> he's another friend of mine who plays Wish Wars. Um, I think he graduated, right, with Matt. So, yeah, he recently graduated. Yeah, so I don't, I wouldn't, I don't think we'll be seeing him much 
anytime soon. Even Matt, um, our previous prez for Anime Club. Where but hey, um, not bad. If I like this role. First talk, I, not I, bad. Will, I will still play Way Schwartz once I get the money, but for now, channel first, get some more games, get the channel built, and maybe, um, through maybe Skype, we can play a, a match or two. Oh, well, I, who knows, we might, I don't know where you live, Kelly, honestly, Rockstar. but if you want to drop by at school to play Way Schwartz and we can record our gameplay, that'll be fine too. Yeah, that's fine. If you're okay with that. Also, um, maybe someday in the future I'll drop by, drop by with you, you know, to, um, to play games in person again. Yeah, I, I got to see you pack? again, Aaron. Oh, we've been. What, I get, what, I get, what, I get. what happened? I got a. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, it's another shiny. What do you know? I got a shiny. Yeah. Nice. I was getting pretty lucky with these rolls. So, if you guys are watching this right now, um, don't literally like scream, scream at me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about Love Live. Uh, I just finished Black Bullet. Um, I just finished uh, what was that other show? So, um, not Star Online. Boy. I just started Soul Online, but I finished um, Soul Eater Not, and I'm still finishing. Mushishi Soku. I'm not good with names. Sorry, well, guys. Long titles. <laughs> the long titles, right? Yeah, yeah. most uh, most uh, most local fans over there come up with with uh, nicknames to remember what they are, but I don't know what the nickname the most fans have agreed on. So we just kind of go by the official title, or at least the short one. Also, Third. for those who are watching this right now, I have another. Brand, grandiose news for you. The I think is support, supported by the creators of Sora Online. I am not completely sure. I have not been in the forums for a long time. I just registered, even though I've been floating around on the forums for a while looking for news. Um, oh, there's the a heck? game created based on Sora Online. It's called Age of Einkart. And it's on alpha test right now, but it's basically sort of online MMO RPG. The fuck? So there's no other news besides the news from the official website ageofinecard.com um, that they're giving alpha test keys to alpha testers. And apparently I didn't know about this at all. So I'm not an alpha tester, but they few people who were been on Age of Iron Card forms long enough to be branded as Alpha Testers, and I say branded because it's not really a title. They were just given the title. They, they stamped people who were longer. Um, sorry if if I sound a bit jealous there, but there's an MMO of Thor online. So if you guys want to check that out, just go find Age of Iron Card. Dot com is a forum. They have a Minecraft server dedicated for Sora Online also. They have that link in the description. Um, well, not link in the description, sorry. That's a habit of mine because I've watched YouTube channels a lot. But um, if you go to their forum, the first link or first notice they have is they have a server for Sora Online with the IP address. Anyway, back to Kelly. So guess what, KJ? I drew three rares in a row in the same uh, booster pack. Rare? Uh, how do you know it's rare though? These are, um, cause under underneath here, you can see, for example, you take a uh, part um for what's her name? Fuck. I get so hard. Uh, Nico. So with Nico, you can see, not only you can see it's a holographic on the bottom of right over here, you can see it's you can see it says R. Uh -huh. so oh, okay, R, so it's a simple R, R, huh? Yeah, and I got it's a little blurry, so I, like, you have to focus in a bit more. Oh, uh, it's gonna be hard. I, I can I, point out that it's right over. Hold on, hold on. Here. It's focusing. You see, this is R, like where my thumb is. It's kind of small. Try to bring it up a bit more and come up a bit. Yeah. 
It's like SSR. Oh, it's, it's still focusing. Oh yeah, yeah I think it's, is it right above the um the five thousand? Yep. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I that's saw very there's small. Three of these <laughs> in a single pack, and that's like unheard of. Wow. Oh well, I guess they made a mistake. Whatever, I'm fine with this. <laughs> three hollows in a single pack. I uh, or you just got super lucky. Uh, it could be that, but who would make a mistake to put three hollows in a one pack? Oh, let's see what this is. This pack I got. Oh, well, another hollow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What do you know? Oh, it's a change one too. That's nice. So I got a, a super backup. What cards like these do is that um, when there's a opponent turn and you know that your character's gonna die, you place this called a backup, and then it'll get like 3,000 more attacks. So you pretty much win the battle, and they can't put it on a backup because it's not uh, be they're being attacked. Well, I don't think the audience know anything about Waste Force yet, so we should hold out about the description about the cards until we do an official, like, Waste Force, you know, gameplay. Where we, you know, take step-by-step -step gameplay of it, I think. <laughs> I mean, to me, I understand what you're saying, but since we're recording this, people are going to be like, huh? <laughs> hey, hey cool cards, bro, but we don't know what you're saying. All you guys need to know is this costs a lot of money. Oh yeah. And just to let you know, um, you if you thought Vanguard was expensive, just buying these guys it's expensive. You know, like Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Vanguard packs that are like, I don't know, seventy bucks. These are a hundred bucks to hundred twenty a pop for a booster pack box. So. And, hey Kelly, did you get that silver card with like a pouch or a, a gold coin on the... Oh no, those are Japan only. Yeah, you because... You can only get those in Japan, or like a Japanese booster box. Like, you buy the English ones, they don't come with it. Ah. Uh, yeah, um, the Japanese booster box, if you guys are um, wondering what I was talking about. They have like these special code cards that have symbols on them. Most of them are blank, but... If you get like a pouch or an extra card symbol or a dollar symbol, you can exchange those for extra cards in this shop. Literally, it's just money card. It doesn't have any play value. It is a trade-in for more prize cards. Like, if it's a pouch, you get a grab bag or something. If it's a card, you get an extra card. Depending on the, um, it's like a random machine thing that dispenses a card. You can get it for extra. And I think the dollar card is where you turn it in to buy another pack, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> it's been a while I play it. Um, but uh, since my camera is down, you cannot see uh, what I have, but I have the sword online, as I said before. This is not bad. I got another pack worth two rares. These are both of these shiny. Oh boy. You're just, uh, you're just swimming with money. I'm just swimming with luck right <laughs> you're now. You're swimming with that? money right now. You could just yeah, literally just get your money back. Plenty of more with collectible that. rarer stuff. I mostly just took the picks of the picks of um, items on display. But no, literally uh, and seriously, Kelly, you're just getting your money back. Probably. I, I think. I sell any of these or like a couple. Oh, I don't know. Just hope oh, you get that I'm signature card. <laughs> well, I still have like a lot of packs to go. Yeah, I I know. Let's see what I get from here. I get a Nozomi rare. Not bad. I'll read what all these do later since I think that'll pretty much be better for the video. Because if I keep reading these and what they do, it's gonna be like freaking like two hours when we finish. Yeah, I know. Oh, how about this? this? You can open them, see them, but when you get something special, I suppose a hologram, quick one, or. A signature card, brandish it out. Flash that. Uh, flash that treasure. Anytime I get a hollow or something, I'll flash it. Which just seems like I'm getting hollows in every single pack I pull. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Again? 
Let's see. Yep, another hollow. Let's see it. Uh, um, Kelly is cut half. Let's uh, try to try to control I'm that. Gonna, okay, okay, I'm gonna give this book a little um, like read, like maybe read the first couple of chapters. And this book is awesome. <laughs> Aaron, you sound a little bored. Um, uh, my energy starting to start to. Well, on your end, I see that, but uh, I mean. You're not really a wish horse player, right? No, not really, because I don't have it. Have my actually, own. do you? I don't even know if you play card games. Actually, do you, did you actually play card games before? Uh, besides traditional, like fifty-two um, deck card games, not. Uh, no. Huh? Oh, you can, you can get like a simple starter deck, and it's super strong. Like any starter deck. Um, they have always, they always have a chance of winning anything. Just, oh. just don't buy Sora Online. That, that, that doesn't win. Uh, if you get this, Sora Online is actually really strong right now. At the tournament I played on Saturday, half the people were running Love Live and other half were running uh, Sword Art. Because since the Season 2 Sword Art came up... Yeah, 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 the Season 2, yes, but I have the Season 1 set and we know how bad that is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you need to fix a couple problems in your deck. Yeah, I know. You can so. ask Vinny or like, yeah, Vinny can help you or his brother. They both went giant. E either the deck is self-structured, very plain, or I just am bad at it. And I'm okay with building decks. I I'm, 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 I wouldn't say I'm pro or anything, but um, yeah, just. The way you and Vinny whooped me so hard oh. every single time we play. I'm pretty decent at card games. I, I okay. take very, I learn really fast. I was okay with Yu-Gi-Oh. I was okay with Magic. Wish Wars is a whole new game for me. Well, yeah, yeah. Wish Wars is designed to be quite different. So yeah, it's. it's Ooh, this is a card I needed really badly. Mm. This. Oh wow. Her ability allows me to do something called change. So, if I put this out in the field, and I'm level zero, I can switch it with a level one counterpart. Oh wow. I, and I, well, I'm still level zero. Oh, so you can basically substitute for a level one, and it becomes a level zero. Um, it'll still be level one, but I don't have to pay any cost. I don't have to buy by the like level rules. This the what uh, wakes uh, love life series so strong is that they can do that. <clears throat> like I could change at level one with level two and level two with level three. And that was one of the staple cards that are needed to do that. Is that all the packs, Kelly? Hmm? Did you open all the packs? No, I still got this much. Oh boy. That is gonna be a long night. CC. Yeah, I was looking to see if there's any super shinies or not. I'm not gonna look at, uh... Every single one. Yeah, I'll do that on my own time. Let's oh, save the other nice. box for a later time. Or you, you can just show shiny cars um, next time we do it because we're just taking a lot long time to open every single pack yeah I'll probably open the, the second deck myself yeah and see what we get but give a shout out if you do get a synergy card on one of them ooh um this card's really nice it gets 500 this is actually one of the staple cards of people playing the tournaments this is one of the more expensive part that you can get yeah. back. That particular card, um, for every card I have on the field, it gets another 500 <laughs> attack. By the and way, Aaron, did once. you buy nothing but games over there? And comics? And t-shirts? Well, okay, t-shirts works, but you could have bought something more exclusive than just games, though. Um, I mean, you could have gotten the games at like Mero or 
well not Mero now but you have the comic book short story you go to a lot right um the, what do you mean the uh the store uh, and, well whatever oh, store you so, showed me yeah. when I visited you that one time what do you mean the store store on uh, Venice and Overland in uh, Culver City well isn't I mean the one place that you bought the PS3 from oh there that was a uh, gameplay which they they actually have a a, uh, a chain of stores and they and the, and one of the stores shows up in the anime expo. Oh, so that's how you got it. Um, I bought these games from their booth and uh and the, and the exhibit hall, and they were cheaper than they were all cheaper than uh than offered at other stores. Wow, now that's what you call lucky, really. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just was wondering because you know there are lots of more stuff in AX than just games. Well, nice. well, speak I speaking for me, board. really. Huh? I mean, when I go there, I get nothing but figures, but and cards. But yeah, yeah we I mean, all have our vices. We tend to focus I on. Have, I could have. I could have some. I would have bought an anime DVDs stuff. if they weren't so bloody expensive. No. There are some games that are import games that maybe that would have been more, <laughs> I don't know, I believe worthwhile, but, well, whatever you like, you like, really. Yep, for me, I'm not the one to games. say you should get this or that. Also, Fred told me you got, uh, well, Fred was here when you were um, Skyping me about um, you getting me Altiri Meruru. Yeah. Right? Yeah, which I still have right here. Oh, is that one? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I see it, Aaron. One, oh, two, boy. three, four, five, you six. You guys are crazy. Any events that I missed? Uh, the kill a kill event? Huh? The killer kill event? Yep. Oh yeah, both of you were in that one, huh? Oh, I wish I was. The line was too long. Oh, did, um, I couldn't make make the uh, killer kill concert either because, well, I didn't, I didn't get the ticket in. I didn't um, get to the ticketing booth in time. It sold out the first day. Oh, so it's one of those events where you have to actually buy a ticket or something? Yeah, it's yeah, like there's, 35 bucks. Oh uh, boy. Well, what, well. well do you guys heard any stories about it? Like, what, what was so big about it? Uh, it's just like all the voice actors and stuff like that. Ah, okay. Song, one, you get, you, get, you get the, uh, there's a voice panel, there's a voice panel with the uh, Japanese voice actors for Ryo, Ryoka and uh, Setsuki. Ah, okay. I as see. well as uh, developers. Okay, the two main characters. Yeah, with, the, with the producer, the char character designer, and the script writer for the, for the TV show. And there was a live showing of the English dub for the first three episodes. Oh. No ah. offense, guys. No offense. But I prefer to watch things on either Raw, which is Japanese without subtitles, or subtitles with Japanese voices. That's just me. Now, I know there are some good dubbings in English, but it's just Black. my personal preference if, of course, if I'm bored and I feel like I just want to listen, I'm too tired to listen to Japanese and look at subtitles, I will go to dubs. And I've watched dubs before and I say, um, I mean, we all have to agree on one thing. Dragon Ball Z Japanese, Goku doesn't sound that good. Dragon Ball Z dub, English, okay, he sounds like a fighter. So, yeah, um... Kill that kill, huh? Wow. Kill that oh, killed so me. Cosplays for kill kill. No puns intended, but that literally killed me when I heard it. <laughs> oh boy. Anything else that I miss? Um. Any specific events that you guys actually went? Hentai ones? You guys ones? want to share? Hentai yeah. ones? Yeah, huh? you should admit you would go to the you would go to the head tower. Like, yeah, that that that's what's a good one. Wait, did I hear a Hentalia event? Hentai. Oh, sorry. 
What? Okay, okay, censor that part. What the heck, guys? <laughs> what the heck? No, we saw we saw we saw someone bring out a chicken with a hat with a uh, a tie on it. <laughs> what do um, you think? Well, no, not um, okay, that is that going a dangerous fun. route. All right, let's cut the topic on that one. Yeah. Any other events? Um, let's see. Besides the video video room showing some. Anime. Well, yeah, about that video room. Did you bring your consoles over there again, Aaron? Um, no, I did not. What happened? I thought you were stoked to bring your old consoles and bring it to the game. Place again. Um, I, I, I uh, didn't spend as much time in the game, gaming hall before, so there wasn't as much reason to bring my game. So in the, in uh, the later day, days, there wasn't as much reason to bring my uh, my uh, game console. But most of most of the time, I would just bring like a, a video game, like like a Genesis game or an N64 game. But that's about it. Mhm. Mm about Bomberman 64 and Teenage Ninja Turtles, um, uh, Hyperstone Heist. That's about it. Like I said, I didn't spend that much time there. <laughs> um, and, and if I was playing, but, but going there, I was usually like um, playing like the Street Pass video games, or I was playing Pokemon X with the uh, with the um, with uh, well, just a bunch of people there who are playing Pokemon X or Y. Any broadcasting programs you went into, like I don't know, Premiere. New release of anime or games, you know, I Anime Expo always has that. You know that uh, one. Say, Kaiji Inafune's uh, voice battle. Kaiji Inafune is the Ma Mighty Number no. Nine anime thing, right? Yes. Yes. I actually didn't play Mighty Number no. Nine. Is that available? No, no, it's still in development, actually. Oh, so they're making an anime even though the game is still in development. Uh yes, um, he 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 didn't he isn't just having it having it as a game. It's he's he's launching it as a full on intellectual property, and it wow. has a lot of potential. Well, Kaiji Inafune is great of um, Mega Mass. I'm assuming Capcom, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Except Kaiji Inafune no longer works for Capcom. Oh, where does he work for then? Uh, his own studio, Compset. Oh wow, that's interesting. Anyway, wow. Um, any new animes they try to promote? Um, they had the premiere of K, Sword Online, and I don't remember. <laughs> Although I feel it's kind of stuck in my head with this big ass Sword Online and uh, K, second season. Wait, what? One Piece, they had One Piece panel. Oh, there's a lot of people out there. Well, of course, One Piece. We get it. Shonen ooh, Jump ooh, ooh, series. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I mean, we get it. Oh, God. Signature card. There it is. There it is. Money. Oh, my God. Lucky. Money. That is good pool, guys. That is just very, one good it was pool. the very last uh, card in the freaking boost. I was like, man, uh -huh. I'm getting shit from this. I'm not getting anything that like is super, super nice. I was like, man, I only have one freaking pack left. This is so troll. And I was like, wait, 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 this is super, super shiny. What's wrong with this card? And then boom, it was an autograph <laughs> card. Oh my god. Good one. Good call, Kelly. Oh. The box has, has not uh, let you down. It has a crazy, um, what's called, effect too. Oh, okay, is that special it's, holograph? It's a level one. Is that like a has special holographic one? Um, yeah, if you can see it. it yeah, I it can see a, it. And I Surprisingly, I can see that more clearly than the rest of the cards you've been showing me. That card oh. is shiny. Yeah, right? This is very nice. Oh my god. Well, that's a success, guys. I guess Kelly did pull a signature card. Yeah, signature super hollow. This is an SP <laughs> one, too. This is like the rarest of the rare. Oh my well, god. That, that's worth I it. I suppose you actually looked up and researched all the cards in the box, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, of course. Who wouldn't? Call, wow. Okay, but this one has a thing called Brainstorm. Um, I turn over two of my characters and I reveal top four of my top of my deck and I put them in the waiting room. For each oh. climax, I search my deck for a music character. So let's say I'm running a change deck, which I am. I play this card. Okay, um, uh, I get uh, like two climaxes, so I get two of my change card. Okay, so that um, 
my level zero becomes level one, becomes level two, or my level one becomes level two, becomes level three. So at level one, I have a level three out. How can you beat me? Oh god. Yeah, don't try to use that against me. I'm gonna die in about what one second. Yeah. That's like an Exodia deck. This is a <laughs> this is a pretty fucking cheap card. Uh, let me lurch, let me actually. No cards are cheap. Forth. Okay, every card has a strategy. They're they're supposed to take a roll on, and you. Let's admit it. It's an anime. It's an act. It is. A play in which every card has a role to play. <laughs> but wow, success pool, I suppose. <sighs> Freaking A. All these rappers. Yeah, all these rappers. Oh, you know what to do with these. You got your monies back with that. Oh, literally. yeah. For sure. You literally got your monies back. That was a lucky ass pool. <laughs> it was the last card. The very, very freaking last card. Oh my god. Anyway, any oh. other events? Um, oh, any new games that were announced? You know, Animax was a big place, so you might have heard like Alpha, Alpha, Sapp uh, Omega, Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire news. You know, uh, Tales of Zillia 2 had a, uh, ga a game demo at the Namco booth. Say what? Except that, uh, that uh, technically, that's not a new game. That game has been out in Japan for a while. Hmm. So, any game news at all? Did you guys see any imported games in any of the shelves? Because I know uh, they. There's, there's a some ton games of them, are imported. But, like, I personally didn't go out my way to see them. And, uh, yeah, I would agree, concur with uh, Kelly there. There, there, aren't, there were imported games there, but um, I haven't gone out of my way to play. Hmm. Not bad, dude. That was a $100 card. Yeah. Kelly's already looking up the card price. Yeah. Yikes! You, you're a, you're a stingy businessman with cards. Anyway, so I can um, really sell this and buy another box if I want to. Yeah, of course you can. No doubt about that. Um, let's see. What else should we? Okay, cosplays. I mean, it's the biggest thing to talk about. Any cosplay, um, characters you notice while you're there? I mean, there's gonna be a lot, but. Any specific you like to sh share? So many kill a kill cosplayers. <laughs> There's nothing but kill a kill and Attack on Titans. Literally, because um, yeah. What? There's a corpse. Um, the corpse. Uh. Oh, the the giant there. Titan. No, it's, it's a the company that made the Attack on Titan clothes. The corpse uh -huh. something. I forgot the name, uh, full name of it. But they sell really high quality uh, SNK costumes for only sixty dollars. So a lot of people are taking advantage of that and buying the whole outfit for like I think under a hundred. Oh god. Yeah, so you get like the belt, the boots, the jackets. The shirt, oh, I've seen some of those um, from Aaron's picture also. Yeah, it's and yours it's too. Really high quality and it's cheap. Wow. <laughs> um, any other besides Kila Kila and? Um, I met this one girl from Toradora. Um, oh, what yeah. what character was it? Is it short? Was it pink hair yeah, or was it blue hair? Tiger, tiger girl. Huh? Uh, really fireball the the nasty girl. Fireball nasty girl. You mean the short girl? Hmm. Tiger. So, you got tiger, yeah. huh? <laughs> so I met with, with tiger, and then oh, can you, I was asking, oh, can you pose like how she does? So she like does this, this crosses his arms gives me this pissed off looking face and just looks down on me it's like yes that's the look i wanted <laughs> lols oh nice so toradora anything else you've noticed heron monster hunter there are some absolutely amazing monster hunter i guess what armor uh let's see I had some um armor for my glage cruise there was like a girl in the, in the uh bury off armor wow did you post the Liga Chris one on the album? Um, let me see. I think I might, I might have. But yeah, if you guys don't know about Monster Hunter, and I know most of my friends who are watching my channel do not know about Monster Hunter. I mean, I brought the game over several times, but not many people have it. Um, it's a really good game. It's a fun game. It's very popular, and 
even if you didn't play it, you might have heard somebody else say they play Monster Hunter or seen gameplays on it on YouTube. But, um, yeah, Lagia Chris or Lagia Cruz, I, I just like to call him Lagi because once, once you get into a pretty much, um, like, I wouldn't say pro, I was more like you are experienced because I'm a Monster Hunter veteran. I played Monster Hunter original on the PS2 before I played Monster Hunter 2, the portable one, the, um, the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, and now Monster Hunter 3. Oh, well, I tried Monster Hunter 3 with my friend's Wii console, and then I got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, which is the one the US has currently. And we we're waiting for Monster Hunter 4 to come out, but besides the point, Lagia Chris armor looks really, really good. And if to have anybody pull off that helm and the whole entire armor, what kind of weapon does he uh, was he um, carrying? Was he carrying a weapon? Aaron? Huh? What weapon was the Lagia Chris um, armor guy carrying? Uh, he was carrying the hammer as well. Oh, so he had the vortex hammer. So yeah, um, Monster Hunter has a different side of, of um, weapons yeah. and armor. Um, if you look up vortex hammer, Monster Hunter um, three, you will see the spiral Lagia Chris thunder hammer. Oh Any wait, other? wait, AJ. Oh, did you link me the <laughs> picture? Yeah, I'm about to link you the picture right now. Alrighty. I see it. Oh. Oh, so no, that's not a lot here, Chris Heron. Wait, is it? Oh, it is. It is. Never mind. Yes, that's a lot here, Chris. That's a lot here, Chris, and that's not a hammer. He is carrying a lot here. Oh, that's, that doesn't look like a lot here, Chris, at all. What is that? No. Oh, Aaron, you've mistaken him. Um, that's a Glacier Agnactor armor. Wait a second. Let me double back on that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Vinny's gonna scream at me at this, but actually, that's an ivory lager, Chris. Yes, it's an lager, Chris, but that's an ivory lager, Chris, because there's um, the, the turquoise blue tint. And on the left, the female one is a Genoga, also known as. Ogre uh, or Zin Ogre here in America. I prefer like to I like the Jin Oga um, because Jin means thunder, and that's the uh, Usurper's Roar Hammer or Usurper's uh, um, Thunder Hammer. So wow, to get the hammer to glow like that, that is amazing. <laughs> you guys just had a blast of a time, didn't you? This week, this weekend was just epic for me. Absolutely. Nothing more to describe, huh? Um, so, so fun. God dang, this weekend. And I'm assuming you guys are all tired right now also. Uh, Somewhat. Uh, a little bit. I, I just want to pull my second box to see what I get. <laughs> Do it. While we chat. We still got the night, night is still it, young. Uh, it's only I, turning no. 1 o'clock in the morning. So let's keep on rolling. I don't mind. I don't have hey, much to do. Got Hanukkah. You should. Okay, um, you should watch Love Live and appreciate how kawaii these girls are. <laughs> oh, the, the way you say it, Kelly. If you really love Love Live or anime in general, please stop saying kawaii. Say kawaii. Good God, these these misunderstandings. And you guys who are watching. <laughs> I have said this a lot of times, and I am a literate geek when it comes to Japanese and Asian words. Kawaii means scary or afraid or terrifying. <laughs> kawaii. You do not kawaii. say kawaii to something that you like that is saying cute. Say kawaii. Hey, 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 hey. Say Damn kawaii. it, you guys. You horrible, kawaii. horrible. Hey, you hey. horrible, hey, horrible hey, people. Hey, hey, hey. Um, this is pretty nice. Um, Look okay. how kawaii this is. 
<laughs> okay, you got me. All right, I'll 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 give it a shot at Love Live. Okay, it's so on. It's on the. Time. It's on the list. It's ongoing. I have not tried it though. The season one's finished. The season two. Oh bloody hell! I will have to catch up soon, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what we get for a second. Another twenty freaking packs. Oh boy. Alright. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go again. Fly Here them cards. Uh, hopefully I get everything I wanted so I never have to buy the season okay. one booster Set. box again. <laughs> um <laughs> so yeah, Aaron, how big is the wall scroll? Alright. That you that is to see on camera. Okay, it's really really blurry. <laughs> but let's like go toward the back of the wall and then slowly come over here to the camera so that it gets the full view, but oh my god that is huge. That is huge. Oh that, nice. That is a huge wall scroll. I love wall scroll. And I well, got yeah, to, I too have one. Yep. It should be in my box. I'll be right back guys. I want to see if I still have my wall scroll with me also. Because that Angel Beast wall scroll is not going anywhere without me. Ah, yes, I do still have it. So, um, it's a pretty small wall scroll. It covers about 20. One pack down. Hey, Cal. 19 to go. What's up? I, I, I was trying to get, get this across. You can use the word Hawaii. To describe something that's supposed to be cute, but it but it hits the uncanny valley. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uncanny value. Yeah. Okay. But the literal sense, the word kawaii means um to be afraid of something. This then you see all these Japanese but, calls kawaii yo. Well, but that's the thing though. Not many people know, but uh, I mean, not many, but those who aren't really used to the, the Japanese culture uh, should be saying that without context because if they go to Japan and say it wrong, <laughs> you know what they're going to get. They'll look at you weird. Aaron, you still there? Oh, I think he DC'd or something. Problem with the call. Huh? Uh, it says there's a problem with the call. I'm doing fine. I think he's... Uh, DC, he DC'd up. Yeah, he... He is, um... A bit... Well, the thing is, his internet's a bit unstable at his house. Mm. So... Most of the time, yes. Uh, <laughs> there can be some... Issues How with cute it. this card is. Good God! What is Love Live supposed to be? Some kind of um dancing idol show, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like a dancing idol show. There's a lot of music in it. <laughs> it's about these girls trying to save their high school from being like shut down. So uh, every out uh, like every other school has like idol groups, and they're trying to form an idol group. So... Oh boy! Okay, try to get Aaron back. Okay. I'll just be pulling more. Uh, so, right when I pull the autograph card, I message Vinny. He's like, "Dude, we gotta play. Let's go play. Let's go play." I'm like, "Oh, hold on. I need to fix my decks first. I only have a trial deck." Oh, people are pressuring you to open the box. Uh, pre people pressure me to like fix my deck and play them. <laughs> that is how the card community is nowadays. All the good days when people didn't pressure and just, you know, were more excited of you having a new box than having to play them all the time. <laughs> what? Uh, that just really kills the fun though. That's, And that's what my channel is really all about, guys. Just having fun, trying to get the value of fun more than trying to get the value of winning. Because here's an experience for you guys. Playing a Yu-Gi-Oh card like Herald of Perfection and some of you who know about that deck you are going like yeah, you scream you will scream <laughs> no no doubt about it 
Seems like Aaron is out of contact. Um, what the freak? Alright, so let's pull this card right here. Uh huh. Oh. This particular card, shiny, it's a double rare card, so it's one of the rare ones. Uh huh. And what it does is that um, if there's a particular climax in it, I may activate the effect, and if I do, I search my card for three level zero or lower music characters and put them on the stage so I can get all my assists out in one turn. Oh wow. Yeah, right? And if I get like certain ones are like, oh, if I get this clones on stage, I can search for music for another music character and I can get my other change ones. Oh, Aaron's having a bit of an issue here. Uh what's wrong with internet? It's just it's just really, really wonky, really, really unstable. There's like, mm. it shuts down sometimes. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. <sighs> oh well. I know the feeling. Oh. Yeah, um, by experience, going back to the topic we were discussing, I had a deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! that literally does not let the other player win. It wasn't an Exodia deck, it was a deck called the Herald of Perfection. What it did was, as long as I have a fairy in my hand, I can discard the fairy and negate and destroy every effect possible. Mmm, I remember something like that. And so, naturally, people will build it to the point where you have infinite cards in your um, hand with fairies, and like, Goddess of Light Tethes will bring fairies out to your deck back to your hand, and if you have a card like um, Pot of um, part of avarice or something, it just helps you the more. So, I kept on winning and people kept on didn't want to play with me. Um, my only defense is, you know, there are other cards out there, you could just find weakness to the card and beat me, but certain people just don't want to buy more cards, right? So, <laughs> right. They, just, they just stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh with me. I'm not saying my friends in general would do that. I still played them with different decks, but even then, it was still a bit too much for them, so they just stopped Yu Gi Oh for a good a while. I'm just hoping to find a better. Actually, I kind of stopped playing card games after a while, also, with that, because I found out that, you know, my win was my loss. What's the point of playing and winning a card game? If you're losing people who would you would play with, that's not a win. That's a that's a loss. So I'm not putting anything against anybody who are watching this video right now. I know how you guys are feeling about the whole car sh shebang with my decks. Um, but um, after a while, I thought you know, <laughs> Aaron's on Steam. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> He's on Steam playing Magicka. I think that Magicka is still screwing his um internet over. I think so. Um, oh man, but... I, need, I need to go home and read all this. <laughs> you don't have to read all that. I think, I think here is a good time to stop since Aaron's off and we don't we don't need to show all the cards at once, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching again. This is KJ. Um, I know there's no video of me um, right now because apparently the video won't go on. I think. Um, yeah, the video is still loading. I don't know why it's doing this, but um, this was Kelly and Aaron showing, you know, their experience, sharing their experience with Anime Expo 2014. Um, their buys and wears and buys that they've got and the amount of and, money yeah. we spent <laughs> <laughs> and as always um this is kj and gamers guild all right if you so, like this video gamers guild gg the like button game. on the lower right and click subscribe yeah um here's the thing guys again you don't have to subscribe but if you do enjoy this video, please at least leave a like and spread the um, spread the word again among your friends. You can even put a comment, yeah, or a comment of what I should do better next time. But hey, again, Gamers Guild, Akram, GG, good games. See you guys all next time. 
Um, bye bye. See ya.